You probably don't think about your liver that much, do you? I mean, or maybe you do, I don't know. But a lot of us don't think about our liver that much. And that's why today we are talking about fatty liver disease. That's right. Actually, it's just like what it sounds. Fatty liver disease is when you got extra fat in your liver. I always say to my patients, you know, fat can go all over the body. Yes, it can. And it can also go in the liver. And that is an important thing, which is why we're talking about it today. So if you hadn't thought about your liver in a while, <laughs> today is the day. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. So let's just sort of break down fatty liver disease, what it is, what it's not. By the way, the liver is the largest organ in the body. Yes, that's according to MedlinePlus.gov. I think that's super interesting. And if you didn't know what the liver does, let me tell you, it uh, helps digest food. It's it helps to store energy, it helps remove toxins, it does important stuff, by the way. Um, now the thing about it is, as I mentioned, fatty liver disease is when fat builds up in the liver because, well, fat can kind of go almost anywhere, it can go in the liver too. Now there are two types of fatty liver diseases, or fatty liver disease. Um, there's non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and alcoholic fatty liver disease. Now the alcoholic kind sounds just like what it sounds like. If you drink too much alcohol, you can develop fatty liver disease that's secondary to too much alcohol. But we're gonna mostly focus on the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, okay? Because that's caused by, well, not too much alcohol. And by the way, it's super, super common. By the way, uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is present in 24% of the U.S. population. And this is why I'm talking about it because so many of my patients have fatty liver disease. So I figured, ah, uh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go over this. We gotta talk about this, y'all. I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm gonna back it up. So non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This is why it's important. And when we talk about this, I'm trying to figure out how to organize my thoughts. When we talk about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, um, you know, if we're lucky, we just sort of have the simple fatty liver, meaning fat in the liver, but the cells in our liver otherwise are okay. However, some of us not only have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, we've got fat in the liver, but then we also start to have cell damage and inflammation, which by the way, that can be a problem because it can lead to cirrhosis and liver cancer. Um, that's called non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or NASH. Don't, don't like, don't worry, like don't get confused. I know this is a lot of stuff, but just so that we're clear, we're focusing on fatty liver disease that's caused not by excessive alcohol intake, we're just talking about basically what you need to do and what you need to know. So first of all, who is at risk for fatty liver disease? And oh, and by the way, you may not know you have fatty liver disease. I know you're probably like, fatty liver disease, fatty liver. Yeah, there's no symptoms, guys. You're not gonna be like, oh, I feel my fatty liver. Not necessarily, <laughs> not likely, okay? The way we find it usually is that you get some blood work done and maybe your liver tests are abnormal or something else is going on. Maybe we do an ultrasound and we see, oh, there's fat in the liver. So it's usually testing that tells us that this is the case. And again, there's no symptoms to this, okay? So don't feel like, oh, I, I'm, I, I'm missing the symptoms. Well, there may not be any. Risk factors is super important because those at risk of getting fatty liver disease are these folks, folks with diabetes or prediabetes, those who are obese, those with high cholesterol, high triglycerides, those with high blood pressure, and those who might've had certain infections like hepatitis C and things like that. Now, this is the thing, guys, and this is why I wanted to do this video. I know that I'm sort of, it may sound like I'm going around and around and around, I'm not, but non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, not caused by drinking too much alcohol. And when you have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, it can be the kind where it's just fat in the liver, that's one kind, no cell inflammation or, or cell damage, or fat in the liver, but you also got cell inflammation and cell damage, which that can be a little bit higher risk because it can lead to cirrhosis and to liver cancer. But this is what you do. This, and this is why we're talking about this. People ask me all the time, so how do I deal with my fatty liver disease? My doctor told me I have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. What do I do, doc? Well, what you do is you lose weight. This is why I'm doing this video. Because while fat can go in most places in our body, it can go in our liver, the thing that helps remove the fat from our liver and help fix it, help get it better, is to lose weight. And while a lot of the things I just mentioned don't seem like they're within our control, or actually maybe they are, right? The alcohol drinking and maybe sort of our lifestyle and risk factors and things like that. But the thing is, sometimes it may seem like, gosh, I, there's no symptoms, how would I know if I had it, blah, blah, blah. The thing that will help it is something that's very much in our control and that is weight loss. So if you are diagnosed with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, 
your doctor might recommend further testing, might recommend specialists or things like that, but I can pretty much assure you they're going to recommend weight loss. And it's another reason why guys, weight loss and keeping a healthy weight, exercising, eating a healthy diet, is so important amongst the other millions of reasons why it's so important non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is another reason why it's important because that can actually literally help the fat that's in our liver okay and also help some of the things that may come down the line from that situation and i should also say that when we decrease the fat in our liver that will decrease inflammation that will decrease uh, the chance of fibrosis again weight loss will help decrease the fat in our liver which will decrease those things too so i want you to be encouraged if you've been told that you have a fatty liver, what I want you to do is say, okay, let's get on the treadmill. Let's start exercising. Let's start eating healthy. For that reason and every other reason we talk about every single day on my channel, right? And on my page, because this is important for your entire health, your entire body. Um, also, there are some people that might need to change up their medications and things like that. I'll leave it to your doctor. But just understand, if somebody tells you you have fatty liver disease, you know, ask your doctor for more information. Make sure you understand what you need to know. But in many cases of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, understand that weight loss is one of your best friends. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. If you have not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. I do daily health videos. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.